FNN. Headline News Update. Okay, folks, uh, Billy Ray Valentine, a.k.a. Larry Pesavento, taking a look at uh, the old markets. A very, very sad day here in Tucson, Arizona, folks. 30 years ago, Mr. Jim Twentyman bought me an Aeron chair, a desk chair. I've had it for 30 years, folks, and today it broke. I called him back and asked him if the guarantee was still out, and he said it's expired last Friday, believe it or not. Anyway, uh, he's going to send me a new one today, so that's great. Anyway, let's take a look here. Stocks are up, up, and away, and I've been sitting there waving goodbye the whole way, and uh, we've had some really great moves in some of these other markets like gold and silver and treasury bonds and a couple others that are uh, what, what soybeans were really good, soybean meal. All of those were looking pretty good, but by golly, folks, uh, after being so bullish down there, on uh, the 27th of October to see this thing run straight up. The only, the only thing that I can say, and I can say this with a great deal of anticipation, put your seat belts on, get your, your head helmets ready because when we come into this market in early January, they're gonna, there's, I don't know where it's gonna be. I know it's gonna be up, but I don't know how high it's gonna be, but boy, is it gonna be a big surprise and we wanna get that, uh, you know, in our crosshairs. But today was really frustrating. I had four trades that I posted last night, three really big winners, uh, treasury bonds. Also in the, um, we had one in uh, gold and silver, just absolutely, we'll cover those at the break here. But uh, we've got some big things coming up. And we've also got a, oh, there's another winner. We'll take a quick look here at some of these others. Hold on one second here. I want to get this back up so we can take a look at it. Anyway, we're going to be watching these very, very closely here because uh, we've got, we're going to have some really, really volatile markets coming into uh, all the way probably through March or April. Well, I don't know how far it's going to be. I can just tell by the volatility we're seeing right now, it looks like we're you know moving into something that's going to be you know quite spectacular. So we'll have to pay attention to that right now. We've got stocks moving into new high ground right now as we speak, and we'll have a really nice. Uh, Hold on one second. There's another nice one that lined up pretty good. So anyway, that's what we're paying uh, closely here to some of these things. So let's uh, remind ourselves, folks, it's not how much money you make. It's how much money you don't lose. And I've got to find out this thing is jumping around so much I can't even figure out where everything is. So let's take a little break here. And we're going to be back with our uh, guest. We'll be our Mr. Norm Winsky at the break. And that's what we'll be looking at here uh, today, so let's uh, pay uh, sort of close attention to that as we